So I have read many many mystery books over the past winter vacation. However, it's been a while since I delved into a completely unknown new world of fantasy and finally I recalled why fantasy was my favorite genre to read. Hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the Book Quester, and today I have this great, awesome fantasy slash science fiction book, The Paladin Prophecy by Mark Frost himself. And well, let's get right on to it. Will West always stays under the radar, always does average on tests, and always stays in the middle of the track team. Why? Because his parents told him to, and he's been moving around for his entire life, never staying in one place for more than 9 months. Then one day, on the way to school, he's chased by people in a black sedan. And these people are really really suspicious, they look like something out of, a, out of a spy movie, except, you know, they're the bad guys. And that's not good. And so he runs to school, he gets into school, and at school, there's another unexpected occasion. He's called up and said that a test, an exam that he took, the results were off the charts. 1 in 27 million. That meant that he had an extremely high IQ, and that was nearly impossible. And then a woman nay, Anna, a woman comes and she offers him a school. A school offer basically. And she offers to Will West that if he wants to, he can join the place called the Center, which is a pr exclusive private school for kids of extreme IQ and extreme well, athletic po athletic powers or extreme brain powers. That's basically it. And there they make the people who will lead the future on the future of humanity. And then his mom comes in, but then he instantly realizes that something is wrong. His mom isn't acting like herself. In fact, it feels as if her soul is missing. She's not the warm, vibrant mom that she always is. And once she re he realizes what's wrong, he knows that he has to run. But to where? Then he realizes that he can perhaps, he's very, very smart, so he can easily forge his parents' signatures and go to that boarding school called The Center, which is bound to be quite safe. And so, he, hit, he takes a plane ride over over to Wisconsin, when he's in Florida, mind you. And he, go to, he goes to Wisconsin and enters this private school called The Center. On the way, he's chased by monsters. And this mysterious man named Dave comes in, guns blazing, and helps him out. He doesn't know who that is. But anyway, Dave seems like one of the good guys. And finally, he arrives at The Center. There, he is met with this almost dreamlike atmosphere of this extremely perfect looking school, except the couple facts that he isn't allowed to look at YouTube, any kind of social media, or text even. It is encouraged for the students to face to face talk to each other, which is, well, understandable for a school that's literally bringing up the kids that's gonna rule the world soon enough. And the person who, who gives, you know, our main character a tour is a pretty girl named Brooke and she immediately starts crushing on her and then he quickly realizes that pretty much all the girls of the center are pretty and really really smart which is just wow that's very hard anyway th that's basically what happens then he meets Lyle who is supposed to be like the one who's char who's in charge and who's in charge of enforcing the rules in the dorms. Then we realize that Lyle has some sort of special power. He can do mental attacks on people, probing against them mentally. Will also has some sort of power. He has insane athletic abilities, inhuman amounts of it. And also, he has sort of thought power as well. And he can also observe and then immediately find out the background. Kind of like a Sherlock Holmes plus Charles Xavier. 
And yeah, this is this really, really crazy kid, and he's really confused, and he's run, and he's seen his parents literally die in front of him. I mean, literally get captured, and his mom being mind controlled and stuff, and he's seen monsters, and he's had this really traumatic experience. And finally, he thinks he's in the safe ground. There, he makes friends like the nerdy computer girl guy, AJ, who's very, very social. Nick, uh, basically a guy who studied boxing, taekwondo, um, karate, kung fu, etc. And he's just a really, really good fighter. And Elise, who is, well, who is a really smart girl, who's really, really good at um, uh, playing the piano, and she's also very, very smart. And she, and there, in this new mysterious school, he finds secret tunnels, ancient secrets, and also learns about this place called Never Was, where apparently all these monsters are coming from. Can he find out the truth about the school and what's going on around it? Well, you know, you gotta read the book to find out. A couple things that I really, really liked about the book is its extremely good humor. Like, like one part where Nick and a will is breaking into into a into a major antagonist's room, and our dear Nick says, "Well, you know what they say: keep your friends close and keep keep your enemies dead and buried in the basement." Which is, you know, the kind of humor that I and many of my friends would definitely appreciate. And also, there's these dad rules to live um, live by dad version. <laughs> and literally, it's hilarious. For example, rule number 91. There's not, nor should there be, any limit to what a guy will go try to impress the right girl. I mean, we guys know that, right, cameraman? Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, how would I know? Yeah, totally. Okay, so, and also number 86. Never be nervous when talking to a beautiful girl. Just pretend she's a normal person, which is, you know, typical. And there's loads of other course that's not girl related. For example, keep an organized mind, um, like, how to, yeah, and da da da. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So anyway, that's some parts that I really, really enjoyed about the book, and, and I believe that this is probably one of the best fantasy books that I've read in a while, and I see some very, very, um, noticeable similarities with Hogwarts, this wonderful school, the great food, and making new friends but also there's a new there's a ting to it that i'm quite not familiar with that i absolutely adore it is an excellent book i would highly recommend it and like always your book quester Aaron the book quester thanks for watching and have a great day goodbye